What's up YouTube, this is Collect Pokemon, and this is going to be a quick update video on Evolving Skies Reprint. Again. From what we know, Evolving Skies is getting a reprint. And from what we know, the reprint is not that big in size. But what you don't know is that the reprint actually has arrived in a certain region around the world. So, let's talk about it. And before we get into it, remember the like button, the subscribe button, follow us on Patreon, support us on Patreon, and uh... Yeah, help this channel grow. Thanks, guys. So Evolving Skies reprint has been going around for a month now. I've been talking about it for a month now. Uh, Asia Pacific region actually got their reprint around a week or two weeks ago. And um, this is how we know that it is a reprint. The original booster case of Evolving Skies actually state the date of release, which is August 27th. I hope this is not like flipped over, but maybe it is, but you guys can see it. August 27th, uh, 2021. So this is the original case of the Evolving Sky booster box. The reprint set is going to not have that date you guys can see it just doesn't have the release date and that's how we tell that it is the reprinted version of the products now have i opened um, a case of these to be able to understand the print quality and stuff no i haven't uh and i do think that the print quality is going to be somewhat similar um yeah and i mean even if i open my case uh, and i tell you hey the print quality is okay or the hit rate is okay it it just doesn't mean that every single printing factory around the world is going to see the same thing so it's really pointless doing that but i can tell you that the reprint is here and that's why we do see a bit of a price dip but only very very insignificant amount of price dip we're seeing evolving skies booster boxes selling at around 160 dollars uh, 160 70 dollars from its high of 180 190 so uh we're not really seeing that dip and you're gonna say hey collect pokemon what about you know the bigger wave you know the us reprint uh, is going to happen in july and august well i simply think that the wave will not be big enough i still believe that the price will firmly hold at that 150 dollar mark um if you are planning to sell your evolving skies booster box because you're worried about the reprint i would definitely hold on to it i, I mean yeah you, you you know if you are in need of money yeah do sell it you know but if you're not in need of money you can hold it for five years why not hold it for five years i can tell you that this set is definitely going to be the set that people go to when they look and buy pokemon card or invest in pokemon card they're not going to pay money in astral radiance they're not going to pay money in pokemon go tcg they're not even going to pay money in even the newest lost abyss you know for any set that is going to be released you know this whole coming 2022 i do believe that evolving skies will be you know one up every or two up every single one of them and so unless the price of this booster box hit up to around 300 us dollar you know people investor would definitely go for the evolving skies than the astral radiance or something else what about reprints collect pokemon do you think that you know pokemon We'll see this, and they're just going to print Evolving Skies to the ground. I wish the answer is yes, but I can tell you the answer is no. If they're going to reprint after Evolving Skies, what is the next logical set for a reprint or do for a reprint? Brilliant Star. You know, Brilliant Star is still very, very short in stock. And very high up in price as well there are a lot of playable cards that people need to play evolving sky is a lot older i know i know it's august it's like half a year older but still you know it's a lot older it could be rotated out you know the next coming year or so so i think brilliant star will be one of the priority to uh, for pokemon company to reprint that set rather than evolving skies so that's something that you have to consider uh, will we get another wave of Evolving Skies in the future? Who knows? Like I said in my previous video, we might get single packs. We might get a bunch of single individual packs, uh, you know, packaged within different products so that the other products are selling a lot better. Could be. But, you know, there must be a set that Pokemon wants to have a very, very high secondary value in order for that plan to work if all the sets are dirt cheap there's no reason for them to buy or no reason for consumer to buy special boxes 
right? So it's only logical in the business sense that we, or as a Pokemon company, they make one set very, very difficult to get. And once they make that set very, very difficult to get, any products with that packs will sell very well. I've seen this many years ago in Ultra Prism. Ultra Prism was one of those really weird awkward set which failed miserably, or which actually was the first set after the fail, uh, after the Crimson Invasion, which failed miserably. Sorry about that. Um, and um, they they simply just printed one wave of booster box. There were never, ever a second wave of Ultra Prism booster box until like a year ago, like a year ago from now, that they randomly printed some Ultra Prism. But um, yeah, it, it was just gone. It was just no Ultra Prism. And cards such as Cynthia was really, really sought after. So what did the Pokemon company do? They printed crap load of Electron Box. And I can tell you, it sold like hotcakes. It just sold, you know, people were trying to order it. I mean, I was in here, I was here in Hong Kong. And, you know, I get calls from, you know, a lot of the local card store asking, hey, collect Pokemon. Are you able to find us some, you know, elite trainer boxes for Ultra Prism? And back then, how much? I ordered around six, seven hundred. Six or seven hundred elite trainer box. And it just sold really, really rapidly and quickly as well. So, uh, yeah, good old times when you can actually order unlimited amount. And, you know, that was before our time. And then later on, people picked up on it. And, you know, they started to, you know, grab all those uh, Elite Trainer Box as well. But um, I can tell you that, you know, I, what I would see is that Pokemon do and are watching the secondary market. And I think Evolving Skies, you know, this is one of those things where, okay, they give it a reprint, makes everyone a little bit more happier. It kind of eased that tension about everyone talking about Evolving Skies not having enough products and, you know, how Fusion Strike sucks, you know, these sort of stuff. But, um, you know, I think that Evolving Skies will be the set that Pokemon Company is betting to go up into the $300, $400 range. And so whenever they include some packs in that, people will go like, ooh, there's a Evolving Skies pack. People will go rush and buy it. Just like how they included Cosmic Eclipse pack in the Arceus figure box. People were like, oh my god, you know, Cosmic Eclipse. They'll go buy it. So it's simple as that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you think that the reprint will impact the price in any significant manner? I don't think so. If you do, let me know in the comment section. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. This is Galactic Pokemon. Bye-bye.